A couple of days ago, I made a video that was actually a joke about the scotch, basically a notch at the top of your screen, which is super customizable. And it, you know, it was the first of April. And um, I did a tweet the day earlier saying, I'm going to reveal the biggest feature of Plasma 6. And people actually tried to guess what I was talking about. Some people guessed floating panels, some people guessed one-to-one gestures. And when I read that, I was like, w w wait, I was talking about Plasma 6, you know that those features are coming in Plasma 5.25, right? It's like, they're coming up right now. And I thought, okay, let's talk about this a second. So I've done a video to showcase one-to-one -one gestures. Let's start with them. Before that, I want to thank uh, the sponsor of this episode, which is nobody. It's me doing this in my free time. And if I'm able to is only because people like the names you see currently on the screen actually put their trust into me and donate money. So if you want me to continue doing these things, it would help me really so much if you could do even a small donation like on uh, PayPal or Patreon or LibraPay or YouTube or whatever you want. Like just if you're able to, not, not necessary. As, as I was saying, a video. Okay, so this is to showcase the one-to-one -one gestures. We've got with three fingers, uh, the ability to switch between desktops, even upside and down and leftwards and rightwards. And this time the direction is actually correct. We had the gesture to switch between desktops, but they were not one-to-one -one and they were in the wrong directions. Now it's correct and it's beautiful. If you do four fingers from the bottom, you get the overview effect, which for now, hasn't any one-to-one -one animation to it, but in theory, I think that should come um, soon. If you go four fingers from the top, as you can see, it's present windows that holds present windows. This is the very effect, this is present windows that also lacks for now on one-to-one -one gestures and um, animation and probably won't come. And then left and right, of course, we switch between the workspaces and that's pretty cool. There's also four fingers pinch which is like super cool and this also works with uh, three fingers now and uh, it's one to one three fingers pinch to actually open the desktop grid which is cool then of course if we've done touch pad gestures we can also do touch screen gestures one to one why not if we go from the top and it's the top because i actually customized it to be the top but you can choose whatever side i think by default it's left we'll see maybe that will change before release you can see that i'm able to do a one-to-one -one gesture animation to trigger the desktop grid which is cool and then we also get the right side which actually triggers the overview effect and again this overview effect is one-to-one -one. so let me show you with actually a couple of windows in them and you've got this beautiful animation of your fingers actually pushing the window backwards to see all of them and it's gorgeous like i, I think this is the prettiest thing I also decided to customize a gesture from the bottom to open up kickoff and from the left to open up present windows, although the overview effect is obviously prettier. So this was as far as one-to-one -one gestures go. They are coming, they were implemented. Yeah, I saw this comment saying, thank you for implementing gestures, one-to-one -one gestures. And I was like, no, it's not me. I have done nothing for gestures. I'm just talking about them, about the fact that they are coming. They were implemented originally some versions ago, the, uh, the groundwork by Jeanette and then now by uh, Eric and Marco. Uh, Marco implementing as an example, the one to one touch uh, screen gestures, especially for the overview effect I've seen. And Eric improving a lot the situation on the touchpad once with the slide effect as an example. So don't thank me, thank those people. But what you can thank me for is the floating panels. So this is my GitLab and in here I have the merge requests that are assigned to me, the ones that I'm working on. The first one is the panel panel containment refactoring and it is basically done. I just need to squash uh, the commits and it is basically done. Now I'm focusing on the second one, which is implement optional floating panel for Plasma theme, which is what you're waiting for, right? And um, you can see the screenshots. Uh, this I opened four months ago. 
and uh, they asked me to do some changes. I tried to do them a couple of days ago and I saw that the code situation was much worse than I thought. So I just spent like a whole night rewriting a lot of stuff and now it's much better. So hopefully, but I'm pretty sure they will be in the next release. We've got like 10 likes, two dislikes and three hearts. So hopefully this means that it will get approved and uh, I should be able to implement this in time for the next release. If I'm particularly lucky and at least for this time I'd like to, <laughs> There is uh, this third merge request that, that I would like to be accepted and um, merged, which actually allows the dialogues to be floating too. Now, in my mind, if you make a panel floating, then all of the dialogues inside of uh, th that, uh, that are triggered by that panel will also be floating. It's not something that I can guarantee but uh, I'll do my best to actually implement this and implement this before the next Plasma release. The deadline is coming uh, nearer, but uh, there's still time and I still have hope. So don't worry, even if I was just talking about the scotch in my first of April video, don't worry, one-to-one -one gestures and floating panels are coming. And not just that, I gotta say that in my opinion, if everything that should in theory land in Plasma 5.25 manage, manages to, and with some luck, I think it's feasible, Plasma 5.25 will be like the biggest release uh, I've ever seen of a Kitty Plasma 5 release. That wasn't the best wording, but anyway, see you tomorrow with a new video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe.